What? What do you want to say? What was the progress today? Progress. We put this other line in here. And then we put these, no? Yeah. This car. We did today's progress on the student's car was the charge pipes. We did the upper charge pipe. We have to continue welding it from here to the inner cooler. Um, then we did the uh, feed line. It's all working good. Return line. And then we also finished the charge pipe on this side. So that one's all done. We just need a clamp. We need a few, cl three clamps. And then that side, we need a rubber fitting and we need to continue to connect to this side. And that's probably, that's pretty much it. We're going to order the more uh, rubber fittings and we're going to order the wastegate. And then uh, I think that would be it. And then uh, he's going to start putting the whole interior back in it because at first he was going to be a fully race car, but I told him this car has a title. You guys can drive it and drive it in the street if you guys um, get the uh, plates or register under their names. And I think that's what they're going to do. Well, he's going to do because the other two never came back. Uh, I don't know what their plans were or whatnot, but I know the little one never came back. And then the other one, Adrian, he, uh, I've been telling him, you know, when are you coming back? When are you coming back? But they never came back. Well, they, none of them did. And then I told them if they don't come back, I was just going to sell the car, continue finishing it, get a dyno and, and sell it. But then uh, this dude showed up right i think he's says he's just gonna continue doing it uh, yeah but that that was the thing i told him i would let him have all the parts that i had laying around uh with the condition it was for them to you know race it at the track and continue coming over but at this point i don't know what their plan is apparently they just want to finish it and drive it right yeah so so that's that but we'll see I'm gonna be working on this today. This is the flipper car that I bought. As you guys can see, when I bought it um, at the auction, it said it ran and drives, or well, runs and drives. And this is the video that usually I hear when it's at the auction. You can hear it, it sounds good. It has a little misfire, but you can't really hear it, obviously in the video. But it has a little misfire and one of the things I noticed is that when you give it gas, you can do it. It has a little tick, sort of like a knock. The idle's fine, and we'll see if you can catch it. All right. So there, you guys heard the knock. It's a, to me, it's more like a tick, not really a knock. So, these cars are notorious for the uh, tensioner to give out, and I think that's what I'm hearing. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna find out. But one of the things I'm noticing on this car is it doesn't have a sticker for the, uh, for the water pump, timing belt, none of that. So, to me, it seems like they've never done the maintenance on it. And actually, never mind. It's right here. They did it in 2017, Acura Salem. So anyways, I'm gonna, this is a 50-50 chance that it might be a rod knock or it might be a, a tensioner. I'm thinking it might be the tensioner. That's why it's missing because it jumped timing. The tensioner might have not be, might not be doing on its full potential. So that's why I think it might have jumped a tooth or two. So it's warning of uh, tension is given out. Because the idle's fine and it doesn't knock right there. If it was a rod knock, it would be running smooth and it would be knocking really loud. Another thing I noticed is that mount is broken. So the engine rocks everywhere. I'm crossing my fingers is just a tensioner and it's probably a tooth or two off in either one of the heads. 
and it's probably just an easy fix. I'll buy the tensioner, timing belt, and water pump and put it back on and send it. But other than that, it's, it runs fine. Everything seems to be okay. There's no transmission lights flashing or anything, so I'm assuming it runs good. But I'm going to take that out. I'm going to get to it. And then once we're done, once I find out if it's an engine or transmission, if I fix it, I'm going to go ahead uh, and detail the whole car and go through it with you guys okay so after further investigation <laughs> uh this is a crazy one i've had stuff like this happen before but this one was a new one uh let me turn on the lights because it's getting darker you guys heard that ticking it sounded like a rod knock it, it sounded a big knock or a tick but it wasn't i knew it wasn't a rod knock i thought it was a tensioner usually i heard tensioners like that before but it was neither or, it's not a rod knock, it wasn't a tensioner. This one was a spark plug. Uh, this this hole right here, which is number five, four I mean, because this car is one, two, three, four, five, six. Number four was stripped. So the noise that we were hearing, it was the, uh, you know how these ones are bolted on? So this one was bolted on, so it, it, it doesn't let the spark plug come out. But that noise, that ticking, it was the spark plug hitting back and forth on the cylinder head. It had a little play in there. So the compression every time it would do that, that's why I idle you couldn't hear it. But when you rev it, it kept pounding the yeah, spark plug back and forth and it wouldn't shoot it out because these things are sustained by a, by a bolt. So anyways, yeah, I pulled that out and I went ahead and bought this kit. It was $42. This is what the kit comes with it's a it's a re you say save a save a thread so this is the original one and since it's an aluminum head it went in the very 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 easy so it's this one and then this one and then after that you thread this into the spark plug and uh, they give you this so you can pound it but it's really hard because you guys saw that it's deep in there so what i did i just put the longest thread on the spark plug it's actually the exact the exact uh whole thread on the spark plug and uh, and I thread it in there. I put thread locker on the outside and then thread it in there and tined it and left it there for like, I don't know, a few minutes. Then I went back and the spark plug came out and then I put uh, different spark plugs because the one that came out from there, it, it, the threads were a little bit messed up because like I said, it kept pounding in there. I don't remember which one was it. Uh, I don't think it was this one. But anyways, I changed that and then I blew the whole threads not the, the threads the shavings I, bl I blew the whole shavings out and then i started the car and you guys let me start it for you guys that was that was it that's all there was to it this hose is, was ripped i couldn't get that out but either way it was cracked on some of the ribs but when i tried pulling it out it ripped more and uh yeah that's all there's to it. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy spark plugs because I don't know, they look new, but, and about the service also, uh, whoever did it, did a really good job because it has new water pump and new timing belt and new tensioner. So the service had already been done. I think that was the one, but they, uh, they washed it off. But yeah, there's no tick, no nothing. It revs really good. Yeah, and uh, that's all there's to it. And there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, so I pulled a lucky one. The only thing was, like I said, it was just that spark plug that was stripped. And one of the things I'm gonna, this car is really clean. We're, I'm gonna continue making a video of it. But this car is really clean and uh, it's worth painting that hood. I'm gonna sand down that hood and I'm gonna paint it the same color. So yeah, right now what I'm gonna do is uh, put everything back also that motor mount is shot the one here you guys remember that one's completely shot so i'm gonna go ahead and uh i'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together the timing covers the bottom cover buy that mount replace everything and this car get it all detailed and it's ready to go uh you guys will see the before and after pictures or i'm gonna do a time lapse when i'm uh cleaning it all up so this is the hose from the air box to the throttle body. It was ripped. 
I ripped it on the way out because it is it is there. It's it won't flex for that ventilation to come out. But you can see it's also ripped in there. So that one is no good. Uh, and then this is the other part of the motor motor mount. Uh, I already tossed the uh, I already tossed the motor in the trash. The motor mount in the trash. This is what they cost. So we have an account with uh, with them, so they give them to us a lot cheaper. But yeah, for 66 bucks, uh, and then it's back to runs nice. I drove it around, transmission shifts good. One of the things I noticed in the transmission is it, I think it's been rebuilt because it has a stock uh, VIN number in it or original VIN number in it, but it shifts really good and the transmission is shiny and I can see a lot of bolts. They've been painted like when you torque them or when uh, transmission has been rebuilt. And I usually don't see those from factory. They have a lot of yellow, blue, and red uh, in each in most of the bolts. So I think it's been rebuilt. Transmission is a lot shinier than the engine, the casings. So I think the transmission has been rebuilt because it shifts really good. It has 260,000 miles, and the engines usually last for a while. The transmissions don't. So it seems like uh, they probably been rebuilt. It. They probably rebuilt it at one point. So this is some of the results. I'm gonna, I already washed it, got it all cleaned. I'm about to uh, go take some pictures and post it up. The interior, I still got a vacuum it, but I mean, you guys saw the interior is pretty clean. It was just the floor mats that were kind of dirty. And then uh, a quick trip, put you guys on a time lapse, how to clean these headlights. Uh, you guys can see how foggy this one is. And you can see the results after. Uh, the compound that I use, I don't need to sand it down or anything. I hate doing that because you know you're scratching uh, the plastic on the lenses on these headlights. Uh, this is the one that I use. I get this. I got this online through Walmart. So this is the one that I use. It works really good. Um, I'm gonna clean this one out. There's no need to sanding. There's no need to nothing. And then after this, I'm gonna go take pictures, post it up for sale. And we'll see how many bites I get. I have two people that want it, but at the same time, I'm gonna use the same pictures to send it to them, see if they come through first. If not, at least I know I have it on, I post it up, see if uh, somebody wants to buy it. But like I say, the car right now runs good. I already drove it twice. It was a two hour drive. Driven like already probably put about 500 miles into it or so. Uh, so I know the car is good, AC, everything works in it, AC. I mean the whole window sunroof there's nothing wrong with it the only thing that I know that I see it's the rotors every time or I hit the brakes I can feel the in the uh, steering wheel vibrates but then it goes away so I know they're probably either either glazed or warped 
but that's it. But it doesn't prevent from driving it or anything. Uh, I don't want to put too much money into it. I'll rather be honest and say that's all he needs. Tires are all new all around and that's all he needs. And obviously to be registered, but that it's a must. So yeah. All right, there you guys go. I mean, literally, it only took me like two, three minutes to do it. Uh, you set the you set the uh, drill to high speed, and you do it. Just make sure you add a lot of compound. You don't want to burn it. And a lot of people they spray clear and whatnot. It looks like this ones have been refurnished, but this one I already washed the car, and it still stayed like that. It stayed clean. They were really, really foggy. Uh, but I'm not gonna go through that sand it down you know how to clear or clear them or whatnot it looks way better than how it was and uh yeah i'm just gonna leave it alone i don't like messing with them you sometimes you scratch them and some of the scratches you can't get off or clear starts peeling off and it's even worse they look very bad then you really have to re-clear them again so i'm gonna leave it like that the you can see the hood turned out great matches the color everything's fine i polished i buffed this fender too but after I washed it, you can see uh, there's not much of a difference. And vacuum the car, and then, uh, yeah, it'll be ready to go. But other than that, that's it. <laughs>